KCRA3 High School Playbook starts now. And welcome to KCRA3's High School Playbook Show. I'm Michelle Dapper. It's week five of the football season. We kick things off with a battle of two powerhouses. The St. Mary's Rams looking to take down De La Salle for a second straight season in a much anticipated matchup. No score in the first of this one. Samson Hunkin connects with Alex Kazakian for the pickup of 18 yards and a first down. And they're trying to get in something going. They settle for a field goal. De La Salle down three and the Spartans showcase their speed. Jonathan Guerrero takes the handoff 78 yards, just carves and shifts his way down the field. Set up a good field position for the Spartans and they cap things off here. Dominic Kelly taking it in for the three yard touchdown. It's a 7-3 lead for the mighty De La Salle Spartans. Kelly was not done this time to the left side for a 12 yard TD and the Spartans hand St. Mary's their first loss of the season, getting some revenge on last year, 24 to 10. The Miraloma Matadors off to their best start in more than 20 years. They sit at a perfect 4-0. Mira Loma taking on Forest Hill tonight at El Camino High School. Nice coin toss there. Matador is striking first. Brennan Collins rolls left, connects with Gabriel Aguilar. 33 yard touchdown. The two point conversion fails, so it's 6 0 Mira Loma. And they're down 8 6 now. And a couple of possessions later, Collins showcasing his ground game, reels off a 60 yard touchdown run. Look at him go for another Matador TD. Two point conversion this time is good. It's 14 to 8 Matadors. But Forest Hill catches fire, tying things up. This score here, David Silveria over the middle. Brandon Navarro, 13 yard TD. Mira Loma, though, going on to win big 52 36. They improved to 5 0 now and perfect on the seat. Well, the amazing Grant drumline fired up for a Metro League meeting between the reigning state champs, Grant Pacers and Burbank. Running clock in this one with the Pacers up 41. Luke Alexander hitting Leka Latuli for the 20 yard score to silence any extracurriculars. Burbank still playing hard though, despite being down 48. Alexander going deep and it's picked off by Javante Butler. Grant blanks Burbank 48 to zip. Well, it's now time to showcase our high school public great clips catch of the week with who's showing off their incredible hands. We go to Orangevale and the Battle of Unbeatens tonight. Casa Roble taking on Del Oro. The Golden Eagles on the move. Caden Pinnock goes deep. Beau Suave just too smooth. Comes down with the catch there with the defender all over him. Beau Suave looking good with that great clips catch of the week. Now time for our American Furniture Gallery's girls flag football featured game and that features the Lodi Flames ranked 15th in the country taking on Lincoln of Stockton as the Trojans look for their first win. Lodi up two at the second half here but Lincoln tying things up five yard TD pass and it's all knotted at six a piece but the Flames may heat up. Janie Schalberger Watch this. She was looking, drops back, looks, looks, and still looks, and finally finds Emma Fuentes. 10 yard touchdown. Lodi slipping past Lincoln 12 6. They improved to 5 1, moving into a tie for first place in the league with St. Mary's. I thought we flew around pretty good. Um, Lincoln kind of started a little late, um, so they're still new to the game. I think the next time we play them, they're going to be vastly improved. They had some really good athletes out there. But for the most part, I thought we did a good job with our assignments and executing on the offensive side of the ball. Um, so I think if we continue to do that, we're going to put ourselves in a, in a good spot. Love seeing the ladies work hard. We continue to bring you every aspect of Friday Night Football, including the ladies who get the crowds fired up. Meet the cheer team of the week, and it's the 27-member yeah. Casa Roble cheer squad. And these ladies are, have some amazingly different personalities, but I'm told that they fill this team as one. They're also some of the hardest working and skilled athletes on campus. So keep having fun, ladies, and keep working hard. The unsung heroes of Friday nights as the officiating crews donating their time on the gridiron meet our high school public game officials of the week, and that includes the five-person varsity crew working hard on a Friday night here. The crew chief in the white cap, Victor Wilson. He's been a ref for 16 years. These guys are just awesome. They aren't afraid to, by the way, watch this, throw the flags. Better behave out there, boys. Thanks for all the work and their time every Friday nights.